Hello my dear family members, I know you are very much excited to know what are the questions asked today at TCS NQT exam. That's why I brought a coding questions which was asked and very much important for upcoming exam. So let's start with the questions. But one thing you must remember that is Python compiler creating unnecessary issues. So be alerted while using Python, right? And I am recommending you to use Java or any C, C++ language, okay? And as I have got feedback from the students, they are saying that the questions level are moderate and the uh, difficulty level is more harder than 14th January. So please prepare for everything, right? And the most of the questions, coding questions are asked from array. So practice those and this is not necessary that the array questions will be again asked on 29th and 13th April as well. So prepare both, right? String, array, both and uh, also, please give importance to the hash map, map questions as well, right? Okay, so let's go to the today's question. That is, you have been given a range 2 and 5. Just you have to find the cube. How? Uh, here, as you can see, 224 is the answer, but how I'm explaining. So, you have been just given 2 and 5 as range and you have to cube them, make them cube and add them 2 3 4 5 is the range right so two, 2 3 4 and 5 and you have to just cube all of them right cube 4 cube and 5 cube and the range is included right inclusive so if you are add them then the number becomes 224 this is very simple code right still this problem is creating a problem again while you are using python right so please be prepared about that problem okay because uh, if you are not using java or any uh, c++ language then uh, the comp python compiler may occur a problem right okay so i hope you understood what's the task so i i am very much hopeful to you that you will be able to solve this problem still i'll solve the problem let's start with the solution before I proceed, I would recommend you to have the prime materials of TCS NQT from which all the coding questions asked and many aptitude and advanced questions are common from that material. So I hope you will get that by knocking me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf. Okay, so let's go to the solution part. So at first, uh, let me create. Let me run a for loop. Okay. At first, let me take the range from the user, right? So at first, let me create the scanner class object. So scanner SC is equal to new scanner system uh, dot in. Okay. And as I am using scanner class, so import that import java dot util dot star or scanner. Okay. Now. I'll take two range, right? Two ranges. So at first take a range one R1 is equal to SC dot next int and int R2 that is the range two is equal to SC dot next int. Okay. And now what I'll do, I'll have to go from the lower limit to upper limit and we have to cube them right so we have to run a for loop so for int i is equal to r1 to r2 right and as this is inclusive so less than equal to right and i plus plus i will increase the value by increment by plus one okay now what i'll do that is i will take the sum of all the cubes right so let me create a sum variable int sum is equal to zero and i have to initialize that because i have to add some values right so sum plus is equal to i will use the math function which is inbuilt in java right so math dot pow and the number of which you are willing to cube right so i to the power three that is at first r1 is two let's say so 2 to the power 3 at first right so sum is equal to this is equal to sum plus 
i to the power q at first right so this is same as i have written here okay so what this is doing that is let's say at first the range 1 is 2 and range 2 is 5 right so at first it is taking sum as 0 plus i as 2 so 2 to the power 3 is 8 right 8 plus 0 at first being stored at some variable then in the next iteration the r2 sorry the r2 becomes what r2 be r1 becomes uh 2 3 right r1 becomes 3 so 3 to the power cube is 27 so 27 plus 8 this will be stored at the sum variable and then r1 becomes 3 sorry 4 so 4 to the power cube that is 64 64 plus uh 35 will be added here then thus added values will be again added to the 5 to the power cube right this way this sum will store the 224 right and at the end of the for loop we'll just print the sum okay and this will generate our result so this is very simple code and just believe me within one minute the code can be solvable right so let me just run it and see this is giving right output okay so and i will tell you the second question as well wait so the first range is 2 at first then second range is 5 and output should be 224 okay and let's say you are given another sample input let's say 2 and the range is let's say 4 right so what should be your output that is 2 to the power cube plus 3 to the power cube plus 4 to the power cube, right? So 4 to the power cube means 64, 3 to the power cube means 27, and 2 to the power cube means 8, right? So 64 plus 27, that is uh, what? 91 plus 8, that is 99, right? So output should be 99. Let me run it again. So I hope uh, the answer will be as expected. So first range is 2, second range is 4. The output should be 99 okay so i hope you understood the trick the logic i have used here right so as you know the second question is from advanced section so i'll tell you the question at the night so please wait for the time i will tell you all the coding questions right just give me some time i will tell you all the questions asked in tcs and QT, right so i hope this much of information is also helpful to you so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the fails regarding tcs and QT. and if you want then please have the prime materials this will be very much helpful to you okay so thank you for today's session